It's August 1st and while thoughts of back to school are creeping in, we are still soaking up every last ounce of summer. You know it. Maybe you're taking advantage of the warm days and nights hosting a dinner party or maybe a picnic. Well, Dave Kiawa from Fine Wine and Good Spirits has the perfect wine pairings to go with whatever you are serving up this summer. Lovely. Dave, as always, I'm excited when you come and visit. Yeah. Oh, great. You know, even though the kids are getting ready to go back to school, we have almost two more months of summer. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to help you squeeze out every last drop with some great wines from Fine Wine and Good Spirits. Love and it. you know, maybe you're excited the kids are going back and you want to toast with a little champagne. There you go. So, <laughs> great segue, Heather. Great segue. I don't know who might be feeling that way, but yes. <laughs> we're going you know. to start out with Tétanger's Brut Champagne. Ooh. So, Tétanger is a champagne maker in Rheim, France. Yeah. And this champagne really needs no agenda. When we talk about what goes best with a hot summer day, Ooh, oh, thank a you. beautiful sparkling beverage, and champagne is the king of all sparkling wines. Now, when you Cheers. give this a sip, you're going to get a rush of green apple, a little lemon. Then you're going to taste some white Ooh. Asian pepper and a little saline on the finish. It's really beautiful and elegant. Oh, it's and nice. like I said, it needs no agenda but an evening on the patio. How do you say it? Oh. Tétanger? Tétanger. Yeah, I've, I've seen that label before and I thought it was like Tattinger. Well, we could say Tattinger. <laughs> and, and tr <laughs> Tattinger. Hey, Tattinger. Tattinger. Give me a bottle of that Tattinger when you're down there. It's top notch. That is beautiful and lovely. It really it's a, is. It's a little pricier, but... It is a little pricier, but the it's, quality, it's, it's so amazing. Good. There's no yes. substitute to champagne. Well, and there's so many flavors. Yep. Like everything you describe, you taste as you it do. goes down. It just rolls. Yeah, it really does. Nice. That was good. Let's keep that close. So okay. we are going to go on to Whitehaven Sauvignon Blanc. Okay. This is from Marlboro, New Zealand. And when we think about a Marlboro, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc, we get this zippy style. You're going to get a grassy note. You're going to get a lot of grapefruit notes. Oh, it's really it's crisp and I'm refreshing. Smelling. You are smelling it. You're going to taste it here in a second. Yeah. And this goes great with really lighter things. So wow. think like a grilled chicken salad, things off yeah. the grill that are light, white meats, fishes, mm -hmm. things of that nature. Really just, beautiful fruit, with like that. Like fruit and cheese. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. This would be charcuterie. Nice. Oh, I like this gosh. a lot. You had me at cheese. Another good one. Yeah. That's Another really great good. one, in fact. Yeah. So right, let's talk about Portlandia's Rosé comes to us from the Columbia Valley of Washington State. Okay. And Rosé is kind of where white meets red, if we think about it. These are made from Syrah grapes, which are black skin grapes, which produce deep red wine. Okay. But through limited skin contact, we get a Rosé wine. So this wine will present with tart red berries with just a hint of spice. And this is kind of a transitional wine if we're grilling, say, salmon or oily mm -hmm. fishes oh, or so lighter smooth. meats. It really, really does well. And this is one of our chairman's selections. It's not overly sweet, which sometimes you can find rosé to be overly sweet. This was nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, no, I, I like this. Yeah. And it's a chairman's select. My husband yes. calls them captain's club. Captain. I don't know why. <laughs> it's the captain's it's club. Close, close. AKA chairman's <laughs> selection. Chairman's select. You know, on sale for $9.99. It's oh, ridiculous. That is oh yeah. my gosh. lovely. That's lovely. great. Yeah. Okay, All right. what do we what have, do we have here? So next we're going to move on to Ken Wright's Cellars Pinot Noir. Ken Rice has a wine cellar. Ken Wright. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Uh, oh. Ken Rice. Yes. <laughs> it's the other Ken Rice. <laughs> okay. Exactly. So this guy was one of the pioneers in Willamette Valley, Oregon, that really helped to cultivate the Pinot Noir culture there. And this one's great with lighter meat. So now let's think about, um, say, a pork tenderloin on the grill. Ooh. So we're going to get a rush of kind of black cherry with mm -hmm. little cola, maybe some tea leaf around the edges, and a little bit of cinnamon. Really a beautifully complex wine that will pair well with pork. You know, sometimes when you smell a wine, it mm -hmm. smells like it's going to be really strong and like mm -hmm. overtake all your senses, but this is so smooth. Yeah, it's, no. And it's dainty. The tannins yeah. on it are very light. Mm -hmm. I get so. the black cherry, and then when you said the cinnamon, I don't know if there's power of suggestion, it but I'm like, be. oh my gosh, I am tasting the cinnamon. Yeah. I get it. it yeah. It could be. So so great wine specialist tip, pig and pinot. Anything pig on the grill, pinot noir, go oh, perfect. Get out. Yes. Okay. So now if we're going to step it up with beef. Okay. I have All Domaine right. Durieux Chateauneuf du Pape Rouge. Chateauneuf du Pape. Wow, yes. that's so, so impressive. Yeah, so Chateauneuf du Pape. <laughs> <laughs> Chateauneuf du Pape. Chateauneuf du Pape means the new home of the Pope, and it's a small town in southern France outside of Avignon where the Pope moved in the 1600s, the only time the Papal See was outside of Italy, so they named the town after him. And this is a blend of multiple different grapes, beautiful for steak. This is a wine that will stand up mm -hmm. to beef, 
very complex flavors of yeah. plum oh. and cherry with a little bit more dusty tannins and oh. a little herbal spice in there. Really beautiful and complex. Man, do I want a filet and I know. blue cheese this, and a big baked potato? This would do, go, oh my gosh, yeah. it would go so well with that. Yeah, it'll be perfect. Oh, Thank so. you. Things we learn when Dave comes. Yes. And well, Ken Rice does not have a wine. Uh, yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> not yet. We want to remind everybody, as always, please drink responsibly. Thank you so much. And you Thank can you. check out all of these selections on our website as well.